Yo, what's up guys, it's T-Bank and today we have yet another worst to best video. Last time we did the SMGs in Battlefield 5, today we're gonna take a look at the semi-auto rifles. Now, please note that I'm only ranking the so-called semi-auto rifle category and therefore I'm not including the SLRs or the self-loading rifles, so only the semi-autos. The semi-auto rifles in Battlefield 5 are exclusive to the Assault class except for the M3 infrared rifle which is only available for the Scout class. And I gotta be honest, this one was very difficult because your playstyle is a major influence when it comes to ranking these guns. Because basically what happens is, you know, you have your low recoil spam fire rifles, your slow firing heavy hitting rifles, and you know, kind of a mixture between those two. And on top of that, you have the usual variables between bullet velocity, you know, magazine capacity, reload speed and stuff like that. So I tried my best. I played with all of them, of course, to get a good feel for them. And I ended up with this list. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I think it's a pretty good list. Be sure to let me know down below what kind of guns you want me to rank up next. We are almost done for this series with Battlefield 5. We only have the sniper rifles, the LMGs and a couple of others. And while you are down there, be sure to subscribe if you have not already ready. Now let's begin with the worst semi-auto rifle in Battlefield 5. I decided to put the M3 infrared dead last, but you know, not necessarily because it's a bad gun. Matter of fact, it's actually a very decent gun, but the reason why I just can't play with this rifle is because of the freaking scope. Although it looks very cool, the thing takes up half your screen and when ADSing you have the supposed infrared filter which actually makes enemies harder to see, at least in my opinion. So while on paper it's pretty decent, you know, it has a suppressor, it has a high rate of fire, 50 rounds in a magazine and even a bipod, in practice you'll probably get killed more often than not because you can't see the enemy because the scope blocks the entire right side of the screen. Next up, so the second worst rifle in Battlefield 5, we have the Selp Slaughter 1916. This was one of my favorite guns in Battlefield 1. I called it the noob gun because it has 26 rounds to fire before reloading and it was always a 3 shot kill no matter the range, at least in Battlefield 1. Sadly, in Battlefield 5, most of the 3 shot kill semi-auto rifles got nerfed and now it has a drop off point to 4 shots to kill after 100 meters. And I know 100 meters is very far, but it's still a pretty significant change when you have a more passive playstyle, which is usually the type of playstyle you want to have when using this weapon. The reason why it's so low on the list is because not only is the time to kill extremely slow because of the low rate of fire, the slowest in his weapon class actually alongside the Johnson rifle, but also because it actually kicks quite a bit. Matter of fact, this gun has the most amount of horizontal recoil out of all these semi-auto rifles. So conclusion, I don't like it. I even tried it with the bipod specialization, but it's still trash in my opinion. Next up, we have the Gewehr 1.5. This is a very weird gun because it's kind of a hybrid between all of the other guns on this list, but sadly, not for the better. It does have the highest magazine capacity, so you can take out a lot of enemies before reloading, but its 3 shot kill range is only up until 30 meters or something, so after that it kinda becomes a spam fire weapon, which is doable with 30 rounds, don't get me wrong, but the recoil is not that great to spam fire, and neither is its rate of fire of 359 rounds per minute. But even worse, it has the biggest damage drop off. It goes all the way down to 6 shots to kill from range. The M1A1 carbine is the only auto semi auto rifle that has that. It also has the slowest muzzle velocity out of all the semi auto rifles by far, 580 meters per second, it's trash, so yeah, I don't like this gun. Some of you might like it, but I don't like it. Next up we have the Johnson Rifle. This is a pretty cool gun and in a lot of ways it's very similar to the Selp Slaughter. Same damage profile, same rate of fire and therefore on paper the same time to kill. The difference is that it has way less recoil compared to the Selp Slaughter. So follow up shots are way easier and that's exactly what you want with a gun like this. It only has 10 rounds to shoot before reloading though. So compare that to the Selp Slaughter's 26 rounds. That's quite a big difference, but I still rank it above the self slaughter. Up next, we have the Carbine 1938M. Again, like the self slaughter and the Johnson rifle, it has the exact same damage profile, but the Carbine has a slightly higher rate of fire, so the time to kill is much better. It's slightly, slightly less accurate than the Johnson rifle, but still much, much better than the self slaughter. Again, it holds 10 rounds and reloads pretty slow, so it's very similar to the Johnson rifle, but it can shoot faster and is therefore much better in my opinion. Also, the iron sights are very clear and easy to use, but that's just a bonus. Next up, I decided to rank the M1A1 Carby. This one was pretty difficult to place because it's the only other real Spamfire semi-auto 
next to the AG M42 if you don't count the M3 infrared. It also has the exact same recoil numbers, but that's where the similarities end. Because the M1A1 only has a similar time to kill up until 50 meters or so, it has a way bigger damage drop off and it also has a slower muzzle velocity. The advantage of the M1A1 is its magazine capacity and reload speed. So if you really want to get in relatively close, you probably choose the M1A1 over the AG M42. But because it's a semi-auto, it will lose to pretty much all automatic weapons. So considering what kind of playstyle you want to usually play with when using a semi-auto, I have to place the M1A1 like this. Next up, we have the iconic M1 Garand. This gun has something very special going on. It has a very good rate of fire, extremely low recoil, extremely high damage output with a maximum of 40 damage up until 25 meters, a 3-shot kill, so 33 damage up until 50 meters, and like most others, a 4 shot kill up until 100 meters. But inside that 50 meter range, it has the fastest time to kill out of all the semi auto rifles in this game. It is very competitive to pick off one or two enemies, but anything more than that, you will run into trouble because it also has the lowest magazine capacity. It only holds 8 rounds. All of the other rifles hold at least 10 rounds, which is usually a difference between 2 and 3 kills. But in practice, if you miss a couple of shots, it's the difference between 1 and 2 kills. So because of the low magazine capacity, I can't place it any higher than this. But it also has some unique specialization that is worth mentioning. You can either equip a grenade launcher, giving you more explosive, or a bayonet, or even more powerful ammo, extending its 3 shot kill range even further. The M1 Garand is a great weapon in this game. Up next, we kind of have two semi-auto rifles, because they are very, very similar. The Turner SMLE and the Mass 44. I place the Mass 44 above the Turner SMLE, because it kicks less and has a higher muzzle velocity. The Turner SMLE has a quicker reload time of 2.2 seconds for a tactical reload and 3.15 seconds for an empty reload, which is really good by the way. The Mass 44 on the other hand has 2.8 seconds for a tactical reload and 3.6 seconds for an empty reload, which is not that great. Everything else, you know, the rate of fire, damage profile, time to kill is exactly the same between these two rifles. So now we come to the final two semi-auto guns in Battlefield 5. In second place, I went with the AG M42. I just love this weapon. It's the best spam fire weapon out of all the other semi-autos on this list. It has the least amount of recoil alongside the M3 infrared and the M1A1 carbine. It's literally a laser beam and same goes for the rate of fire, the highest in its class alongside, again, the M1A1 and the M3. But one big difference between these three guns is the fact that the AG M42 has a way better damage profile. It's always a 4 shot kill up until 100 meters. Always, so it's very reliable, extremely fast time to kill even at further ranges because of the damage profile, rate of fire and extremely low recoil. And it actually has a very fast bullet velocity of 880 meters per second. With the Johnson rifle the fastest in this weapon class. The 10 rounds magazine and the 3.4 second empty reload are the only drawbacks of this gun in my opinion. But now, the number one semi-auto rifle in Battlefield 5, according to me of course, is the Gewehr 43. This gun used to be overpowered as hell before it got nerfed. It was a 3 shot kill at any range, even at like 200 meters if I'm not mistaken, and it has a very fast bullet velocity and the recoil used to be extremely low. So it could literally outsnipe other snipers. Unfortunately, like I said before, there was a nerf and now it has a little bit higher recoil I believe and its 3 shot kill range got decreased to within 100 meters, which is still extremely good, don't get me wrong, but it's, you know, it used to be better. It has the same damage numbers and rate of fire as the carabine, but it has one extra round in the magazine, the reload speed is way faster with 2.25 seconds for a tactical reload, so almost the fastest in this weapon class. It actually has great hipfire accuracy with the right specialization, so dealing with enemies from up close is not that big of an issue. And last but not least, its scope is extremely clear. Unlike the scope for the self slaughter in the Johnson for example, you can be extremely accurate with landing your shots because of this sight. So in conclusion, if you want to play more passively, you know, from a distance, which is probably the best playstyle for the semi-auto weapon class, you're gonna choose the Gewehr 43. If you want to kill extremely fast and extremely easy from a little bit closer range, you're gonna pick the AG M42, and in between these two player styles, you're gonna pick the Mass 44. None of these guns have more than 10 rounds in the magazine, but like I said, given the playstyle you should have with this weapon class, 
it's not that big of a deal because if you want to be more up close and personal to the point where you want to have more ammo, you're probably going to go with the STG44 or another fully automatic weapon. But anyways, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like to help the algorithm push these videos out more to other people. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, let me know down below what kind of weapon class you want me to rank up next. And with that being said, I see you guys next time. Yeah.